Hey guys, welcome back to Ant Invasion. Today I'll be showing you guys how to keep ants as pets. With the end goal of raising a successful colony. First of all, you'll need a queen ant. Without a queen, your colony won't grow hundreds of workers strong. I've left in the description a link to my previous video where I show you how to catch a queen. It's also in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. So go watch that to find out how to catch a queen ant. Once you have caught your queen ant, you have to do some research to find out if she is semi or fully claustral. My Mimesia queen is semi claustral and has to forage for food. If your queen that you have caught is semi claustral, you can make her a simple outworld to forage for food. I also made a video about this, and it is also in the description down below. Once you have determined if your queen is semi or fully claustral, you're going to put her into a test tube setup. These test tube setups are really easy to make and I've had great success with raising colonies in them. Fill a test tube up halfway with water. Plug up the hole with a cotton ball. This creates a water reservoir. Once the queen is in the test tube set up, you want to put her away into a box and leave the box somewhere in your house where it won't get moved or touched by anyone. Be sure to put a lid on the top of the box to create some darkness for the queens. This will simulate their real nest. Only check up on your queens maybe about once a week because you don't want to stress them out otherwise they could eat their brood uh, they could stop laying and they could just die from fright. Don't feed your fully claustral queens until their first workers arrive. This will stress them out and they could potentially die. After a couple of days to weeks, your queen will start laying eggs. Depending on your species of ant, it usually takes about one month to go from egg to worker. But bigger species such as Mimesia can take up to eight months just for a worker to arrive. The first few workers are called nanatics. Once your first workers arrive, you can begin to feed them. 
Don't feed them too much, otherwise it will promote mold growth. Something I do is tear off a piece of brown paper bag and then put some protein honey on it and then slide it into the test tube. I make my protein honey just by adding in some natural protein with honey and then mixing it together enough so that the ants can eat it. Protein honey is good for your ants because it is pretty much two meals in one because they get their protein and their sweetness in the one. Once the ants have finished their food, I simply take out the brown paper bag with some tweezers and dispose of it. After a couple of months, most of the first batch of eggs should have hatched and you should have a pretty respectable colony. Depending on the size of your colony, it is time to start thinking about moving them into a formicarium. The formicarium that we made in the How to Make a Formicarium 2 video is perfect for founding colonies. You can watch this video by pressing the I in the top right hand corner. With the new formicarium that you transfer the ants into, it needs to have a hydration system. With this one, it's at the top. With my Mimesia Queen, I found that she is very picky. So always provide your semi-claustral queens with a variety of foods to choose from. If your colony grows large enough, you could build and provide them with an outworld. A larger formicarium might be needed if your colony does get larger. I made a video on how to make these formicariums a while back. Press the little I in the top right hand corner to watch this video and it's also in the description down below. I hope this video has inspired you to keep ants as pets and hopefully if you already do keep ants this gave you a couple of tips. Also guys I can't believe we are on 450 subscribers, I mean I'm gaining about 100 subscribers a week so thank you guys so much and keep up the good work. I mean. It's just been awesome. If you guys did enjoy this video, please share, like, and comment, and please subscribe, because we are almost at 500 subs, so thank you guys so much for that.